there are some some of you out there who have been asking me questions and questions and questions. So I've just decided to set the record straight on some of them and also explain a few. The first question is, is this an AE-85? No, it's not. The AE-85 never came to the United States. And the AE-85 got the 3AU. Yes, they're both single overhead cam. However, this is not an, an AE-85. It's an AE-86. <sighs> So hopefully that will help. Next question. How did I get this car to run so good without all those pesky vacuum lines? Well to tell the well to tell you the truth, it was all trial and error. You just delete what you need, which is basically everything. I left one, the most important one being the vacuum advance. Everything else is gone and use a lot of uh, vacuum caps because there are a lot of places to cap off and as long as you set the the idle speed between 950 and 1000 RPMs the car will sound just fine and it will run great okay next question what kind of electric fan did I use? That is just a generic electric fan that I got off of eBay. It's a 12 inch 1400 CFM, which means cubic feet per minute, dual reversible blade uh, electric fan. Only cost $30. You, know, you can find it on eBay. Another question was. How did I get rid of the EGR valve? Since they don't make an EGR valve plate, nobody makes one. Well, you have to make your own. And mine took some time and effort to make one. And another thing that's really, uh, really extreme is you have to keep a part of the, uh, a part of the uh, original EGR valve. Just the part that connects to the uh, exhaust manifold so you can cap everything off oh and another one is uh, involving all the emission stuff the evap system here's the line that comes from the gas tank to that's supposed to go into the canister I just looped it and put it into the uh, line that just goes here that just sucks air into the evap canister so you just do that you'll be fine there And that should be the end of Q&A Group 1. I'll be happy to answer any more questions that you have.